Hey folks, Jessica here. So today we're talking about bullets in gun blue fan in gun blue fantasy. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself in ram blue fantasy. Um, also, I'm on a slightly different camera angle because I had to uh, replace my monitor. The old one died. Rest in peace. Donate to the monitor replacement fund. But I had to um, move everything around. Uh, so now my webcam's in a slightly different place. Let me know what you think. I kind of like this camera angle. But yeah, bullets are a subsystem for gunslinger and soldier. And just to keep things sh short, I'm just going to say soldier. When I say soldier, I also mean gunslinger unless I specify differently. So yeah, for soldier, which is a class that came out about two months ago, and I know a lot of people are interested in it, um, bullets are super important mechanic. And it's not well explained, and it's super in-depth. Notice a pattern with things in Grand Blue you've been playing for a while. So um, the difference between using no bullets, God forbid, uh, or bad bullets versus using the really good bullets or slash the best bullets is huge. Like it's it's a difference between whether or not the class is worth playing or not. So there's a lot to get into, and I think the best place to start would be talking about guns and the differences between guns in Grand Blue. So. When you first slot soldier, poor gunslinger, uh, it's going to give you this thing in the corner that says uh, how many bullets you have in the gun. Uh, what this is referring to is the number of chambers the gun has. So like, when I say chamber, let me pull this up. And this is different for every single gun, and this is why this is really comp it's kind of like how Swordmaster and Glorybringer, every single sword has different like skills. Guns are kind of the same way. Every single gun will have a different number of uh, chambers. Chambers meaning the number of bullets it can hold, and will have a different layout of types of bullets it can hold, different types of chambers. Uh, so for example, this one has six chambers. Uh, not every gun has six chambers. Six is ideal. There's none that has seven, but if there was such a thing that had seven, uh, that would be ideal. Just more chambers better in this case. Uh, let me pull up another example. <laughs> the good old shrimp shooter. Shrimp sh spreader. Why is that hard to say? This thing only has four chambers. Uh, now, the difference chambers makes are they're how many bullets you can hold in the gun. And every time you shoot your gun, every attack um, will spend one bullet. Uh, if you run out of bullets in the gun, you have to reload. You reload by using a skill or by spending a turn. If you just attack during a turn that you have no bullets, you'll not attack, but you'll reload your gun. Which, uh, it, it's pretty obvious why more chambers is better, because you're going to spend more time reloading if you have less chambers. In fact, I would go as far as to say, if you're serious about playing Soldier, uh, you don't want a gun that has less than six chambers. Um, five chambers, I guess, is acceptable if you have a better option, but don't, don't ever use anything that has like four chambers unless you're just, you know, um, completely without options. Now, in addition to chamber, like number of chambers, there are types of chambers. So this is, again, where some of the complexity between different guns come from. Uh, type, the type of chamber refers to what kind of bullet that, that chamber can hold. So, for example, on John Doe, which is a class champion weapon, you can hold one cartridge, one shotgun shell. Their namings are a little bit weird, especially if you're familiar with real life guns. Um, one rifle round, which is called a rifle bullet. Uh, one car they call this a parabellum, which is a strange way of referring to it, but it's just a pistol round. So th this can hold one cartridge, one rifle round, two pistol rounds, and then two ethereal bullets, which are basically magic pistol rounds. Uh, let me pull open another six-round uh, gun, six-chamber gun, uh, Benadia, which has no bullets on it right now. Uh, this one, as you can see, holds three rifle rounds, two cartridges, one ethereal, and no parabellum, no pistol rounds. So. It's going to vary a lot based on what gun you're using, the type of bullets you'll need. Like for this one, you're going to, God forbid you use this as your main weapon because you'll need to get three like max level rifle rounds and those cost, those take a lot of farming, <laughs> a lot of farming. Um, I'll, I'll get more into that later. 
Um, is there an ideal set of chambers for a gun? Yeah, probably. But in my opinion, um, the ideal gun is going to be ba more based on what its charge attack is, what its oogie is, what its like special properties are. Uh, more that than the type of chambers it had. Um, sure, there is probably a, an ideal chamber layout, but it's not going to matter as much as the ideal... Um, the ideal like charge attack as long as you have six chambers i don't think there's any situation you would want to use a five chamber four chamber three chamber gun ideally okay so that was chambers now let's talk about bullets themselves um in order to hmm how to best demonstrate this i guess the best way to demonstrate this would be unload all my bullets God, this warning makes it sound like I'm destroying my bullets. Okay, so you can load each of the chambers individually based on what type it is. If you click on the empty chamber, it will bring up the, t the bullets you have made for it. I only have light cylinders made for this gun, so um, I can only I can only equip uh, my little light cylinder. Um, important things to note here as you make bullets, uh, <laughs> this is super annoying. But notice I have one full metal jacket four. If I load this here, even if I go to a different, like a different grid completely, uh, like if I pull open a different gun entirely, this one, Benedia, if I go and try and load rifle right, rounds one, I try and load a rifle bullet, can't load that same bullet because it's inside the John Doe. You, 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 <laughs> I guess you could go unload the John Doe bullet and stick it in the Benedia whenever you wanted to switch teams, but um, it's not gonna. It, it's not like it is. It keeps track of where each of the bullets is. It's kind of really annoying, and to be honest, I don't know why they do it like this. It's just more needless farming. Um, I really wish you could just. It, I'm not using the John Doe in this grid, so I wish I could just use the bullets from the John Doe in here. That would be a lot more player friendly, but that's <sighs> it's just the way it is. Um, it it does mean that uh, it's a little bit unfriendly to have to play soldier in multiple elements because you're going to farm extra bullets, or you're going to have to go through the very tedious process of repeatedly unloading your gun. So where do you get bullets? Um, well, bullet casting. You click this button. Bullet casting brings up all the bullets you can make. One thing to note before diving too far into this. Part classes. You have an extra EMP skill as a soldier slash gunslinger, um, which is, where the hell is it? Bullet casting. Uh, this skill, you wanna wanna, you're gonna wanna max it out. <laughs> no question. Uh, Cause this defines uh, the types of bullets you can cast. The types and like level. Basically, more points equals better bullets. So you, you definitely need to max it out to get the best access to the best bullets. So let's talk about those bullets again. Bullet casting. Uh, I'm just gonna assume you max it out so you have access to all of the bullets. And um, basically the way the bullets work is this. Let's look at pistol rounds first. Uh, the simplest bullet is an iron bullet, attack 90. So what the attack on a bullet means is when you fire... Okay, so a thing you're going to have to keep in mind, because it, no, the other weapons in the game don't work this way. If you have six chambers, when you attack, and each attack in a multi-attack counts as one attack, um, it's going to fire the first chamber first, and then the second chamber, and then the third chamber, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth. And it's going to work its way through all the chambers. And when you're firing the first chamber, it actually knows what bullet you have in that chamber, and the property of that bullet will take effect. So if your first chamber is an iron bullet, one, uh, the only thing it's going to do is attack with 90, um, with 90 attack. Uh, but if your next bullet is like, I don't know, an exploder three, then that second attack, not like the round just that that specific attack so if it's a triple attack then first attacks iron bullet second attacks exploder three 
uh, the Exploder 3 effect would take place for that second attack. So it hit with 105 attack, and that's a little bit more than Iron Bullet. And also it has a it will have a chance to lower the defense uh, of your enemy and boost the main character's attack. So let's flip back. So the next logical question is, what does 90 attack mean? Uh, easiest way to think about this is it is a percentage modifier. Um, so 90 would be 90% on, on, on the, the attack of the main character. So if you're, I get, let's see, if the main character's attack power is 10, is 10,000, for example, and you had a 70 attack power bullet, you would multiply uh, 10,000 by 70%, so it would only have 7,000 attack power. So a 90% attack bullet actually means you're doing 10% less damage than you normally would with like out any bullet modifier. Uh, if you have no bullet in the chamber, if you you don't have any bullets, then it, it, it automatically sets it at 50, 50 attack. So an empty chamber is 50 attack, so that means you're doing half the damage you normally would. So that's why having good bullets is important, because anything below 100 attack means you're attacking for less damage than you normally would. Now, as you go look, Iron Bullet's 90, Iron Bullet 2 is 100, so now we're at even. Iron Bullet 3 is 110, 130, 150. So if you're using Iron Bullet 5, you're getting 150 uh, percent damage modifier on your attack, so that that 10,000 attack power would be an attack with 15,000 attack power, basically. So you can see how this rapidly starts to make a big difference, uh, especially once you like get beyond 100 percent. So how do you make bullets? Well, it's pretty simple. You just get the materials here, and it's just like trading for any other item. Hit trade. And uh, you, you can make however many bullets you have the materials for. Early bullets are easy to make. They take uh, iron clusters and blistering ore. I'll show you where to get most of this stuff, but uh, the materials get kind of esoteric. So um, if you have any, sp I'll, I'll link the wiki. Um, and uh, that will have the specific recipes for each bullet and where to find the stuff. But uh, I'll, the most common materials I'll, I'll cover, like where good places to farm are for them. Now, the, the thing that makes bullets really a pain in the ass and really grindy to farm is usually when you get into later tiers of bullets, they take the previous tier of bullet <laughs> to make. So things start multiplying in terms of cost. Uh, here, the best example I think of is rifle bullets. Full metal jacket is your basic rifle bullet. 60 damage that means it's only attacking for 60 percent of your full damage potential which is not great but it gets better as you get the later bullets these do have a chance to lower your foe's defense though uh, it takes iron clusters sand bricks coarse of alluvium and rumbling orbs um, all these are pretty easy to find the next here takes takes a full metal jacket full metal jacket 2 and this is 80 and takes the same materials but more of them full, full metal jacket 3 takes two full metal jacket 2s so it's starting to multiply here for a bullet does 100 percent so now you're doing full damage four 130 takes five full metal jacket 3s plus its own materials and then five 150 damage takes freaking five full metal jacket fours plus its own materials but we're not done yet because that's not the best bullet for rifles uh you the best bullet for rifles are gold bullets gold bullets which do 80 the, the regular gold bullet it's only 80 damage so 80 percent of max so you know that's not exciting but as a chance to boost your main character's charge attack damage and stacks that's exciting takes silver bullets which we haven't even talked about um uh, briefly silver bullets have their own tree uh the first level of silver bullets takes full metal jacket twos <laughs> and its own materials and then you multiply the number of silver bullets as you get into later silver bullets 
It's just like the full metal jacket tree, but this one only takes base silver bullets, so that's not too bad. But the gold bullet takes two full metal jacket fives. Oh my god. <laughs> And then it takes a meteorite, which is from the Imperial Ascension. Uh, and a gold, gold bullet, too. Oh my god. I, I don't know if the math on this is dawning on you, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you some rough numbers in a second. Takes two gold bullet ones, uh, gray sandstone, which is just from Randall Quest and Kluger Island, uh, more meteorite, and then a rusty eve, which... I don't even know where this is. Well, it's from Reich Island, apparently. But um, yeah, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm farming Gold Bullet 2s yet. I will at some point because I'm masochist. But uh, yeah, <laughs> all this other shit to the, the right, don't worry about it. It's the fact that it takes the Gold Bullet 1s. And okay, let's, let's look at this real quick. <laughs> just, just look at the absurdity here. If a Gold Bullet 1 takes... Um, two gold bullet fives that would mean it takes where's gold bullet five it would take like 10 gold bullet or full metal jacket a gold bullet one would take 10 full metal jacket fours because each full metal jacket five takes five full metal jacket fours uh and then 10 full metal jacket fours would take oh god would take 50 full metal jacket threes and you see how the map it's just it's all okay this is the best way to look at it main limiting factor iron clusters um because this is the thing it's multiplied the most in terms of costs uh, i have 497 iron clusters to make one gold bullet two uh a f god what is it I'm trying to do the, the math real quick. It takes, I think it's 4,420 iron clusters to make a gold bullet too, <laughs> because of the way it multiplies. Um, like, over 4,000 iron clusters. <laughs> so, it, it's worth it to get the bullet, but it's a lot of farming. D don't, like, don't... <laughs> don't... <laughs> Oh, okay. I won't lie to you. It's a lot of farming. <laughs> so let's just look at some of the bullets real quick and talk about what the good bullets are. Uh, for a rifle, since we we're already talking about it, um, I like, I mean, you, there there's the piercer and exploder trees, um, which you could go down, but um, personally, I like, to me, gold bullet is the best. Um, the piercer tree... Uh, at max level is only 70% attack. Uh, it gives main, main character crit rate and lowers the double attack rate uh, of the main character. So, like, I mean, gives you better crit, but you double attack less. Not great. Uh, let's see. Exploders. Uh, chance to lower the enemy's defense, increase your attack. Stackable. And does 105% damage at 3. Um, again, it's okay, but honestly, gold bullets, despite the fact that, like, they take an absurd amount to farm, boosting your charge attack specs and at full damage is pretty solid. Like, that, that that's, that's the most generally useful, in my opinion. Uh, you could do something like just use full metal jacket fives instead of gold bullets, which would save you a ton of mats, and I think that's actually totally legit. Because lowering your, foe, your foe's defense stackable is pretty good, and it's 150% damage. So you'll gain a lot more damage off of this in terms of just like raw auto attack damage. So um, I would say if you aren't super willing to farm 4,420 uh, iron clusters, just go full metal jacket 5 and stop there. But if you want to go all in, uh, you can shoot them with freaking gold bullets <laughs> yeah it's like the lone ranger who used like silver bullets because he always wanted to remember the cost of a life or something <laughs> like that um but yeah it, like the gold bullet is definitely the most prestigious one it's just really freaking expensive uh as far as parabellum bullets and i haven't looked at all the bullets recently so we might i might surprise myself here a little bit 
Iron Bullets, again, solid um, 150% damage. That's respectable. Rapid Bullet is 80% is damage, but it can boost your multi-attack rate stackable. I would prefer just a straight damage boost since most of my grids um, already have considerable amount of multi-attack on them, or I'm running teams that have multi-attack buffs. But, you know, if you if you want more multi-attack, then consider Rapid Bullets. Uh, then you get a really specialized bullet for um, for pistol chambers. You've got uh, like the flame bullet can burn. These all apply stas effects. Poison bullet obviously poisons. Sleep bullet sleeps. These have different levels of attack. Only pay attention to the, the percentage attack, by the way. That's pretty important. Um, like shield bullet's only 50% attack. But yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory what these do. Poison, sleep, shield, charm. This charm bullet, I swear to God, is a Bayonetta reference because there's this one point where she <laughs> she shoots the the, bat, the the big bad in the face with a lipstick bullet, which is so fucking cool. That's where she tells you not to fuck with a witch. <laughs> pretty sure it's a reference to that. But yeah, that's a charm bullet. Uh, the two top tier bullets for these are going to be um, Paralyzed Bullet and I believe Healing Bullet. And you can tell just from the materials that these would be top tier because these take the the these take Iron Bullet 5s and Iron Bull uh, Rapid Bullet 4s. Not gonna, Don't have it in me to do the math into like how many Iron Clusters this is. Probably a goddamn lot. <laughs> like you look here, it, it, it's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot. Um, these two, so these two would be top tier in terms of power level and the cost to make. Uh, and for obvious reasons, the, the paralyzed bullet paralyzes, which is a very nice effect. I do not know the actual percentage chance of these things proccing. If anybody does know the percentage chance of these things proccing, let me know uh, down below. And then healing bullet uh, refreshes all allies. Um, between these two, it's hard to say which one's better. If you're running a stamina team, you probably want the healing bullet, uh, just because they'll keep you topped. Obviously, if you're running an M&A team, you don't really want the healing bullet. Other things to note: uh, these take primeval, um, these take uh, uh, Bahamut HL horns. They're not that hard to get these days, and these take silver centrums. Again, not that hard to get, but worth noting. Let's talk about some more bullets, cartridges. Shotgun shells. I mean, I guess cartridge is a way you could refer to them. But technically, any bullet is a cartridge. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Shotgun shells. These are slightly different because they deal damage to all foes. So every shotgun shell shot will hit everyone on the enemy team. So, like, if you have, like, rifle bullet, pistol bullet, sh uh, cartridge, it'll be regular attack, regular attack, AoE attack. AoE attack on that third attack. Uh, shotgun Shell 5 is 120% AoE to the enemy team. I mean, like, there's not a lot of hard fights where that matters, but it'll make clearing things faster if you're, like, I don't know, killing, like, Angel, ha uh, Angel, <laughs> Halo. Um, there's Strike Shells. I guess these are supposed to be... These, um, these again hit everybody, but they lower the main character's defense. Um, note that the level 2 strike shell uh, hits harder than the shot shell 5, but does lower your own defense, so that's something to keep in mind. And then you have the different elemental cylinders. Uh, these lower... Uh, so the fire one lowers the, the, the fire defense of the enemy. Water one lowers the water defense of the enemy, etc., etc. Then you get into guard breaker bullets. Uh, this chance has a chance to lower all enemies' defense, and um, guard breaker two again lower defense. You get slug shot. Um, note that this one is not is not AOE, um, and it lowers your double attack rate and defense, but is huge 300% attack power on it so that like it, I, I guess the idea is like the other ones are like buckshot and this is just a solid like slug and then you got the weird ones like sticky shell these lower the foes multi-attack rate 
Uh, Chaser Shell gives you bonus uh, elemental damage from the main character, and Enhancing Shell gives you supplemental damage effects to all allies. Which one's best here? I mean, in terms of the way they've got it stacked, probably Chaser Shell or Enhancing Shell, depending on what you're looking for. Um, I would say probably Enhancing Shell is the better of the two. One, it does more damage at 90% so 60, but it's a supplemental damage to all allies as opposed to just main character. It's also... Lance and these are pretty equivalently hard to make, so I think it's mostly tight. Like, these are the same tier, these are like same top tier bullets, but it just depends on what type of uh, team you have and like what your needs are. Last bullet to talk about, which there's goddamn lot of them, these are ethereal bullets. These are basically elemental magic bullets. Um, so like effort point boosts your main character's fire attack. And then you have all of the Magna Summons, not Magna Summons, um, the Showdown bosses. Uh, Ifrit, Coictus, Vohumana, Sagittarius, um, blah, 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 Kuro, and Diablo. And then you get into these. These are the primal name ones. Instead of boosting just the main characters, these boost the whole team. So all allies fire attacks. So Agni. Um, Tades, Titan, Neptune. Wait, Neptune? That should be Varuna. I mean, come on, be consistent here, game. It should be, it should be Agni, Varuna, not Neptune. Point. Titan, Zephyrus is correct. Zeus. Okay, that. I never noticed that before, but that that slightly tilts me. That like the only one that's wrong is the is the Neptune point. It, that should definitely be Varuna point. What are you doing, side games? What are you doing? Um, but yeah, the best one will boost uh, all of your allies whatever elemental damage, and they they'll take a lot of mats. These actually aren't that bad. Yeah, these aren't bad. You know, the only ones that I would say are super bad are the rifle bullets and possibly the pistol bullets so if you're using john doe you're, you're you get off easy because <laughs> uh because the rifle round there's only one rifle round slot so yeah if you're using benedia which has three rifle round slots that's like twelve thousand iron clusters you need to farm <laughs> so don't use benedia anyways let me reload my gun real quick and this is how you do it you just flip through and you load it up and yes, I don't have the top tier bullets. I, humble brag, I had the top tier bullets before they added better bullets. Before they added soldier. But then they added soldier and now there's better bullets. So I need to get my ass farming. Um, but yeah, if you feel bad about how long the farm takes, don't feel bad because I haven't even done it yet. So you might be wondering, um, like what gun you should use. And my answer to you is almost definitely John Doe slash um, Nebuchad, the gun it comes from. The, the class champion weapon used to be Nebuchad, and then when Soldier came out, it became John Doe. And the reason is it's charge attack. Um, where the F is it, party? So, uh, massive light damage to foe, whatever. Boost to charge bar, great. The big thing is reloads bullets. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. The charge attack is reload bullets. The reason that is a big deal, um, you can charge, you can't attack if you're out of bullets. If you're out of bullets and you're trying to attack, your character is just going to reload their gun that turn. Uh, however, you can charge attack if you're out of bullets. So, what happens is if you hit zero bullets uh, but have full charge attack bar, you're going to just charge attack and then have full bullets again. So there's no downtime reloading. And then if like the timing works out funny and you have to, um, you have to reload, you could use the reload skill. Um, what is it? Lock and load to manually load your gun if you want. But I would go so far as to say that uh, 
with soldier the way uh, the, the with the massive amount of attacks it can do um if you're using john doe or never shot you never have to you don't even need to take lock and load in fact i should probably get rid of lock and load on my character uh it, it's just nothing else compares like there's gonna be strong charge attacks like what is benedia's charge attack let me just look real quick yeah benedia boosts allies attack boosts skill damage great whatever it doesn't reload your gun so you're gonna shoot six times and then charge attack and then have to spend a turn like you just lose a full turn attack or you have to bring lock and load so that that's why John Doe is pretty much the auto pick in terms of guns. Um, really, until they l release more guns with the reload effect on them, I would just say there's no contest. Uh, it's nice in a way because John Doe, yeah, everyone can John Doe. It's the class champion weapon. You can just make it. Uh, you just go down to weapon series, class champion weapons. Uh, I talked about class champion weapons specifically in my how to unlock tier four. Uh, class videos um, but uh, maybe I'll do another one to talk about class champion weapons a little bit more later um, but yeah you unlock Nebuchad which then turns into John Doe and then you can you, you know you trade the emblems to give it more powers I still need to do that etc 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 so let's look at a demonstration real quick Gah, I should have reloaded my damn gun because now I gotta unload again if I unload this thing Let's let's just go beat up a dummy real fast to, to see like the difference. So, bu, bu, bu. um, they changed these when they did that event. Uh, I'm light, so make this thing dark. So, by the way, soldier has some cool skills also. Um, primarily. Uh, I'm not, this isn't a soldier guide, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But um, this does stress why having more chambers on your gun is important. Uh, it has a skill called Open Fire, which shoots until you're out of bullets. So you have six six rounds in a chamber, as I do, six. Uh, it's going to it's gonna shoot six times. If you only have four rounds in a chamber, it's only going to shoot four times. That's a pretty big difference. Uh, then it's also got this innate skill to deal triple attacks while in effect, and it attacks once without a turn progression. Um, so in theory, if you do open fire, you attack six times, and then you do three round bursts. Um, you would have to open fire, and then you have to do walk and load to reload, and then you do three round bursts. That's nine attacks before the turn even starts. So like. Soldier is the only character that I killed the old woman on <laughs> without taking any damage. Like, she didn't even really get a chance to, to, to do anything to me. I, I just, it was brutal. Like, did you just walk down the street and gun down the old woman? <laughs> she just, and also look at her, look at Vegeta. She's just like, she's waving her gun there screaming, which is a reference to Rambo, by the way, if you've never seen Rambo, because that's what Sylvester Stallone does in Rambo. He just starts shooting his, um, his machine gun there screaming. It's great. But okay, uh, so before I get on too much of a tangent. So I have no special bullets loaded, so let's observe my numbers here. So they're all hitting about 120. And that's because um, it's, it's, it's assuming I have 50% damage on all chambers. And there's no special effects. So let's retreat out of here. Ugh. They really have got to rework how this loading bullet things works. Because, like, it really, it should just be a pool that only matters from grid to grid, and then you can share bullets between different pools, because the idea of having to farm, like, <laughs> gold bullets on multiple guns if you want to use it for multiple elements, or the idea of having to go in here and manually move the bullets around like this. Gross. It's really gross. Okay, let's go back in. Now we've got all our bullets loaded up. And keep in mind, these aren't the best bullets anymore bitter 
Okay, so Lucifer again, same, same, like everything's pretty much the same. Let's go in and open fire on this bitch. So, uh, bu -bu -bu. open fire. So before I was hitting for like 120s, I think for like 240s to 300s there. Um, so more than double the damage with good bullets. And also keep in mind, I'm not even using the best bullets. It would be even more pronounced with the best bullets. And like the thing would be taking like all kinds of status effects from the different weird bullets I was using. Uh, and now I'm out of bullets. Kitty, what are you doing? So normally, that would mean the next attack I would reload. However, I have full charge bar and I'm using John Doe as I pointed out. Um, I could manually lock and load to reload, um, but I don't need to because if I attack with um, John Doe, it'll reload, uh, it'll automatically reload my gun, which I'll just do real quick. There we go. And then six bullets reloaded. And then Vegeta is free to just continue to wail on the sky with the three round burst. And then, like, is almost back at full charge bar. You can see why Soldier starts to become really powerful. Because, like, it not only does a ton of damage on its own with its billion attacks, it has a lot of auxiliary effects it can trigger off of its bullets. So, yeah, that's an overview of bullets. It, it was a bit of a long winded one just because the topic is pretty complicated uh it's a very in-depth system it's kind of like the engineer robot thing which is also another thing i need to do a video on um oh yeah one more thing to talk about actually uh where to farm uh a few of the key components for bullets so uh there's two quests in particular you're going to care about um which is where is it Here, uh, here today, Gon Galanzo. This is, uh, you can only play this twice a day. I'll just do it real quick. You're gonna wanna take like maximum magic find or whatever, uh, and Kaguya or whatever, but I'll just, I'll just, I'll just take Soldier. And it's fairly, it's like not a hard mission or anything, just blast this thing. reload so I can shoot it again. And uh, let me just blow through this really fast. It occurs to me maybe I should have brought a team that didn't have uh, an item find backup just to make this quick for the video. But it won't take up. And the reason we're doing this is for iron clusters. This is, it's only twice a day, but this is the best mission for iron clusters. <laughs> Just looking up real quick. Yeah, there's a few other places you can farm that aren't uh, twice a day limited, um, but if you want to passively farm iron clusters, just do this every day and you'll end up getting the iron clusters you need. Oh my god, just die already. Refresh. Yes, I know what mission I'm on. Yeah. Uh, just plain damage to death. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't need to take lock mode if you're using a John Doe. Okay, so that was one run. With a with one um, item find summon, and that netted me fourteen iron clusters. Other options, uh, there is the chapter twenty seven quest. Where is it? 
a shipwright's pride. Uh, according to the wiki, this can net you about three to seven per quest. Uh, or if you go to Galanza's Battle of Old, which is chapter 25, this one, uh, SR characters only, this one can net you about two to 16. I'm just pulling these numbers from the wiki. Two to 16 uh, iron clusters per clear. But in terms of most consistent, um, the daily one, and if you want just passive farm, the daily one's the best one to do. Other one, to be, other thing you're gonna need are these little metal, uh, God, I forgot what they're called. Where is it? Chapter 72 maybe? Yeah, Baker and the Merrymaker. It gets you um, these little uh, silvery things. Uh, it's a pretty quick quest. I'll just again do it real fast. Um, I'm just gonna do it with a regular team though. Yeah, okay. And uh, those are the two materials that you're going to probably need the most of out of all of them. See, that first shot was the shotgun shot. That's why I hit both of them. I love cats whining. Wouldn't be a Jessica video about Will crying for attention. So as you can see, Baker and Mary make a pretty quick quest. gets you four of these steel liquids. And you're gonna need a lot of these too. Not as many as the iron clusters for sure, but those are two of the biggest limiters. Uh, so like keep those two quests in mind. Anyways, okay, now we're done talking about bullets. I hope this was helpful. Um, bullets are super important. Gunslinger and uh, soldier are super fun, but like to get the most out of them, you definitely gotta put a lot of work into farming those bullets. Uh, and at the very least, getting the class champion weapon. Like you could use, you could use something else, like one of the Grand Series weapons, I guess, like a Benadia. But honestly, the class champion weapon is your best bet for, um, for soldier. Just like if you're willing to farm the bullets for soldier, then like go ahead and farm the class champion weapons because the class champion weapons are far easier in terms of amount of time taken to farm than the best bullets. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I should note, I am leaning a bit more on YouTube these days and Twitch. Um, I'm trying to be, like, I'm trying to make this more of, like, a thing I actually do uh, seriously as opposed to something that's just a hobby for me. So if you could check out my Patreon, um, talk to me on Discord, links down below, all of that stuff, like, comment, subscribe, I would super appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, guys. Bye.